it's hot off the press. Get here and find out. Our biotech company has an open job and you should all thank your lucky stars we're telling you. All right, I'm exaggerating, but this isn't much more than a short stride away from how most companies talk about and think about their hiring contact. Many years ago, maybe back in the 90s, I'm not even really sure, employers held all the power and there was less transparent information in the market. So a very formal, very stiff relationship developed where job seekers jumped through hoops, competed with each other and complied with archaic hiring processes to secure a new role. But now the world's changed. Biotech professionals have such specialised knowledge and skills that they can be selective about where they apply their trade. And even in the wake of industry layoffs, which despite all the media doom mongering are nowhere near as severe as they were do during the global financial crisis of 2008 and 2009, talented candidates have options. Your competitors are still hiring. In the last three months, we've registered more new vacancies here at Singular than over any three month period since mid 2021. So rumors of the depth of the job market are greatly exaggerated. Funding is recovering too, slowly but surely. The US is typically six months ahead of the rest of the world in this area and indicators there are very positive. We've seen plenty of examples of Series A rounds in excess of $100 million and the top 20 biotech startups raised $2.9 billion between them in Q1 of 2024 alone. It's still unlikely to be a rapid recovery, but confidence is returning. So it's still crucial to focus on attracting the right candidates, not just announcing a new position and sitting back to wait for great people to come rushing in. The key to doing that is to focus on answering the question that everyone's asking all the time. What's in it for me? And the first step in developing the answer to that question is understanding what the people you'd like to attract are looking for. Now, I did a deep dive for this for the biotech market in a previous video, what biotech candidates really want in a job. So you can go there for more in-depth insight. But the short version is that the most common drivers of career moves in this sector are career progression, learning and development opportunities, stability and experienced leadership. Depending on the specific position you're hiring for, there may well be others that you'd like to emphasize. Business development professionals, for example, are more likely to be motivated by individual reward and recognition, while software engineers and bioinformaticians might be particularly interested in the tech stack they're working with. Now, once you've defined what your target audience is interested in, think about which of those needs you can meet. Not every company can provide stability or career progression so trying to cobble together a flimsy proposition in those areas just because you think you should may not be productive. Instead of that, put yourself in the mindset of your ideal candidate. Based on your understanding of the things that are important to them, what's great about your company from their perspective? Create what we call a candidate attraction proposition that contains the unique selling points of your business and of this role covering the company and the work you're doing, including the science itself, the role, the potential opportunities someone would have if they joined you, the logistics like location and flexibility, the package on offer, and the environment and culture, including things like leadership and financial stability. And bear in mind that this candidate attraction proposition is an internal document. You're trying to capture every possible selling point so that you have them to hand and can tailor them to the interests of each individual candidate. It's not meant to be shared externally, but is to be used when writing job adverts, pitching the role to specific people, creating social media posts, and maybe asking for referrals. Obviously, you think your company is a brilliant place to work. This isn't an exercise in justification or trickery. It's about capturing all of the things that make it great in a way that lets you communicate effectively to the people you'd like to hire. Most of your competitors are terrible at this and are still approaching the market in a way that puts great candidates off. Tell them why they should work for you instead in terms that resonate with them and you'll stand out an absolute mile.